Good evening. How is everybody doing? I'm just going to make a short video. Well, I say short. You never know. But there's a whole bunch of mess going on right now. Now, in there. I have called my government officials and let them know. But, uh, really doesn't make a difference. I don't even know at this point. But at least I can say I tried. Um, I would love to truly speak my mind, but on this channel, we're not really allowed to anymore. And it's so sad. I originally set this up so that my children could hear me and understand me and get to know me fully as a person, not just as their mother. Also, to maybe listen to stuff down the road when I'm gone and maybe get some encouragement from some of my videos, not all of them, and maybe some advice down the road. If it was if my recordings were to even survive. <laughs> um, but it's getting to the point where I can't even be honest on here without talking in circles and code. Um, and if they're listening to this 10, 15 years later, are they really gonna understand what I'm saying? I mean, and really, what is the point if I can't communicate what I really need to communicate? So, I will still be recording on here occasionally, but I'm going to go over to another platform and start recording for them and for others so that I can truly speak my mind. I'm not into the bells and whistles of the videos right now. I mean, maybe one day I could get into editing and creating better videos, but um, that's not really my priority right now. <laughs> um, and all that is is just another distraction and something for somebody to look at and forget about, you know, 10 minutes later. What I want to say is more important than just visual um, pretty things and scenery and graphics and whatever, you know. It's just like anything else, you know, don't judge something by its cover because, you know, your bigger studios with multi, multi millions of dollars to run what they do. I mean, you can see they put out garbage. They got all the nice studio with the desk and all the cameras and everything, but everything that's coming out of their mouth is pretty much garbage. I don't understand how people can live with themselves. I just really don't. I mean, do they really believe what they say? Or are they just so um, controlled and um, possibly blackmailed that they just got to go along with the program? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, I have no idea. But, uh, the, um, cognitive dis dissonance that they have of, um, their, rea their reality versus reality, um, it's amazing to watch. Um, it's sad. When this first started, I just thought, you know, if I can just show people the information and I can just 
give them the factual information, they'll get it and they'll understand. They'll, they'll understand what I'm saying. They'll understand what's going on here, what possibly is going on here. They don't even want to look. They don't want to listen. If you don't have MD or RN behind your name, LPN, even a T, they don't want to hear it. That's the first thing they come up with. You don't even have a medical degree. Okay? You don't need a medical degree to read paperwork and understand information. You really, I mean, there are some of us that can read and actually comprehend highly difficult information. It might take more time. It might take a medical dictionary. It might take them talking about a medical process and then I got to go to another article to read about that medical process to better understand it. There's layers to it. But it's possible. It's possible. And uh, they don't even want to listen. But like I told um, a medical doctor, I said, mark my words. Mark my words. In time, if you're still here and I'm still here, you're going to understand that what I was saying was more truthful than anything that you've got going on in your head right now. Coming from the television, administrators, fellow doctors, I don't know what's going on with these people. I really don't know. It's, it's sad. I had such admiration for people thinking that they were so smart. But I'm beginning to think that they're just fabulous memorizers of information. And they're so specialized that they, they can't even think outside their box. Whatever box that is that they live in. Whatever field their specialty is. They have no idea anything outside of there. And nor do they venture even outside of what they were taught. It is so compartmentalized. So that this side doesn't know what that side's doing. And this side doesn't know what that side's doing. No wonder we haven't progressed. In this time. Medically. I mean really progressed. Oh we've come up with a whole bunch of band-aids. And nice little bottles. And given to you through other methods. We've come up with a whole bunch of glorified band-aids. But we really haven't come up with any cures. And I don't think that's by accident. I really don't. And in what... What world... What world do you go to a doctor... Or a hospital and they just send you home and say if it gets any worse come back and see us with nothing to help you nothing at all not a thing yeah it's if you were to look at every little thing that has happened in the last two years and really look at it for what it is, but people just don't want to see it. This has been going on a very long time. The, just the planning behind this has been going on a very long time. <clears throat> and it's disgusting. But I can't say anymore, so it is what it is. I hope all of you are doing well. I hope that all of you are finding some strength 
in your faith, pulling it within yourself. Um, this is a mental mind game. A true mental mind game. And it's, uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But I do want y'all to notice a few things. There are several advertisements up about um, that during cold weather, you know, blood clots and heart problems are, you know, on the rise. Um, and now they're saying it's because of, not for PTSD, um, post-traumatic stress disorder, but PPSD, post-pandemic stress disorder. Um, I don't know how they could put post in that since here we are and it's still going on. But, okay, so now they have a new term, PPSD, that you have post-pandemic stress disorder. Um, so stress, cold weather, additional heart problems, possible blood clots. There's also a lot of advertising out there for young children. Um, they're making us aware that they have strokes and seizures too. You know, just want to make you aware that children have strokes and seizures too. Um, so the normalization of um, medical problems that we'll be seeing is coming. We you know it's here. So, the, uh, the amount of programming is just astounding. It really is. It's astounding. We're going to have to make some decisions. Um, we're going to have to make some choices, and choices that won't be easy. Um, but it's coming. So, with everything that's going on, poor Australia, Austria, I think Lithuania, I, I want to say, is it Latvia or Lithuania? I think. Anyway several countries go do your research and look at what's going on it's pretty scary and if you think we'll be excluded got another thing coming but i can tell you that a lot of people in the world when i listen to them speak they're putting a lot of faith in our country they're putting a lot of faith and our people to turn things around. And um, I pray enough of us can live up to their hope. Their hope. Hang on, continue one day at a time one step in front of the other. Don't forget where you came from, your ancestry. There were people in your past, not all of them great, I'm sure, but there were enough of them in your ancestry that they made decisions hundreds, thousands of years ago, 50 years ago, whatever it may be, very difficult decisions. Decisions that cost them things, sacrifices, might have even cost them their life to make sure that their people, their lineage would still be here. You.
and I really don't want to disappoint them. I don't want to be the one that messes it all up. Their blood runs through my veins and I owe them that respect. And I owe them to be what I need to be, which is honest, forthright, hold my head up high with dignity, do not sacrifice my self-respect and to stand for what I believe in. And first and foremost, I believe in the Constitution as it was written originally along with the Bill of Rights and that's what we need to go back to as written, period. No amendments, none of the bull as it stands. It is written quite nicely. I believe in the Constitution. I believe in uh, the Bill of Rights. And I believe in freedom. As long as you are not harming yourself or anyone else. And I will uphold that. That's my line in the sand. I'm an American. But first and foremost, I'm a daughter of God, my creator. And I will not be swayed by men and women who are not, not of God and the betterment of the world for our children. And neither should you. No matter the cost or the sacrifice for my children and grandchildren, I will go with civil disobedience. I will go the way of Gandhi. I will go the way of Thoreau. I will go the way of MLK. I will stand for my principle. I will go for the way of JFK and it cost him his life. I will go that way. And nobody may ever know my name there were, may not even be a marker to say I've been here. But eternity's forever. It's just the right thing to do. It's just so much the right thing to do. I think we were born for times such as these. Stay strong. Bye for now.